Hola, hello, hello, hello everybody. Monday, happy Monday. So I'm out walking because I have been stuck in the shop all day today uh, at my day job that I still have, that I still love because it has many purposes. Um, understanding that I'm a diplomat means that I understand I need security and I do need a bit of structure. So as much as we, the day job is not ideal for someone like myself and I cannot wait to be fully sustainable outside of this, um, I get to also love the fact that I, I know that it's serving such a great purpose for me in so many ways that most wouldn't actually understand. So, that's a nice loud car coming. So, um, what I love is that right now I'm actually walking barefoot. It's my lunch break, so I'm out barefoot walking around the streets. I think I'm known on Bribey Island for being the barefoot bandit. Um, so, I'm just out grounding myself. If anybody knows about that, us diplomat health types we love nature we love the earth we love to be connected and grounded at all times possible and i'm currently walking around so hopefully it doesn't get distracting but there is incredible storm coming over brisbane is being absolutely drenched right now by thunder and lightning and rain and i'm on bribey island and every day i get to drive a little bit to get down there and and i get to enjoy that drive because it enables me to do lots of things so uh today getting on with the subject is um Today's conversation is the last of my six videos. So I've done six, five already, and I've done all the different health types. So I've done Crusader, Diplomat, Guardian, Connector, and Activator. So today we're going to talk about the last of the health types, and this is the Sensor. So if you are curious to know about the other ones, if you missed them, go back through my profile and you can have a look, and I've got them all there. Um, and what I'm really doing with this is just enabling a little bit better conversation for people, is to understanding that... There is no template in society. You are all completely individual. You are all bloody amazing as you are. But some of you need to understand that there's certain things that may have you living uh, off kilter. There's things like your environment. Uh, for me, being trapped inside too long, for too long, detrimental to my health. Um, being disconnected from the earth, hence why I am walking barefoot right now. <laughs> Um, but the conversation I want to have with you is around sensors and we're going to discuss each of the different elements of how they sort of show up from the perspective of everything that I know. This is just all that I know and what I am sharing to be and what I believe to be right and true and amazing and a good conversation. So, sensors, I've got it written down so I don't forget. Sensors, when we come to them, they are more like the bird. You'll see I managed to find a bird-like not the kind of one I wanted. I actually wanted to have a, like a flamingo or something like that. So if you imagine like the, very th the, the thin, fragile bodies, they're the bodies that are quite um, frail. Um, they're people who get sensory overload quite easily. Uh, they, they don't like large crowds and whatnot. I mean, let's be frank, their body is quite slight. So generally they won't want to be in a crowd because crowds are rambunctious and, uh, and their brain is always looking for, they've got an amazing capacity in their brain um, but if they are in some kind of a loud, threatening environment, the first thing their brain is doing is assessing where the exits are and where their, their safest point is to be it's because their body is slight. It doesn't have, have the capability like someone like myself might have um, where I can protect myself. These are the health type that generally have robust friends to protect them. Hey, Talia. So our sensors are the ones that just their brain is constantly not in flight or fight but they're constantly in this ability for flight knowing how to quickly get themselves protected and in the best space because they know that physically they cannot um, fend for themselves physically they are um, <laughs> very incapable um, so these health types are the ones that are always looking for the smartest way to do things. They are looking for the most analytical, they're very analytical. They're always assessing their surroundings. They're always assessing the project, the task, um, and they love to find the safest, smartest route to get to where they want to go. They are also the health type that um, often, uh, they, don't, they don't get into trouble. They don't do the wrong thing. They don't sway from the path because if it's a proven fact of where they need to go, then why on earth would they bother coming off of that? Why would they, why would they stray from the path? Because off the path could be dangerous. And like I said, they're a slight health type. They're a slight body type. And um, sorry, I decided I'd come down here to the beach to be able to talk to you guys so I can enjoy this while I'm sharing. Um, but they're the body type that just needs that space. And they, they know that 
uh, the smallest thing wrong uh, and they, they may not have the protection, if that makes sense. So whew, let's get into it. So in the work environment, like I said before, analytics is their speciality. Their brain is extraordinary. They're, 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 um, the organ that developed first when they were conceived, created, was their brain and everything that goes along with that and their, their um, fight or flight response. So they, in the work environment, they are extraordinary for looking at tasks and problems. They are very analytical. They are amazing at understanding everything from point A to point B. They are very details focused. They want to know the ins, the outs, the backwards, the forwards. And then from there, they'll be able to create the best structure, the best plan. So if you're someone like myself who is shocking at this, it's really awesome to have friends who are sensors because they get to keep you in check. They get to keep you in a great space. They get to keep you on target. They're the ones that will have the backup plans. They will understand everything from start to finish. They're great at organizing things. They're great at slightly multitasking, but you'll find if they're multitasking, they've probably got some sort of a program running that has them ticking boxes and ensuring that they've got everything accounted for and everything's covered. Um, so these are the ones you want to have where they are just, um, they're the most capable at being like project managers and things like that. Um, so, but they are also the ones that don't like rambunctious work groups. So they're the ones that would like to have noise cancelling, uh, you know, sound counts cancelling rooms or headphones so that they can just, they can just focus. They don't like to be distracted when they're focused. If we look at them in relationships, they are quite nurturing, but some of them, um, they're very empathic, very emotional, very connected, uh, and they like to have a driving force. So um, they don't like much loud noise, generally. Generally, they like their home to be very quiet, very quaint, very, um, it's their haven. It's where they go to be safe from you crazy world people, and they like to segregate themselves off and just just unpack the day, unpack the emotions, unpack the things that are going on and enable themselves to recharge in a sanctuary. So at home, their partner, their relationship, they will be very much about hugging. I have some beautiful sense of friends of mine and even though they're a very slight person, I remember every time I hug one of my girlfriends, she hugs me and I go, oh God, I forget that you're so slight when you hug me because she's such a, a grand hugger, so affectionate in many ways. But for some, she may seem a little standoffish until she gets to know them. So that's a little bit about them in relationships. They do need someone who can actually help them in many ways. Like they're not necessarily always the greatest in the kitchen. They sometimes find that quite overwhelming. So having them paired with a guardian or a diplomat is a perfect relationship because uh, the synchronicity, you know, the guardians and the diplomats love to cook. And so, you know, it's the perfect match. Uh, when we come into a movie star, um, this is probably one you may not know, Victoria Beckham. Victoria Beckham, if you have a look at her, her bones are so thin. She's so, and people sit there and say that she's too skinny. Guys, it's in her DNA. It's not that she's too skinny. She's just genetically pre-portioned proportioned to be that way. Um, and what happens with our senses when they get overweight or if they get too stressed and if their environment is not supporting them is their body will get a little bit of a pot belly and that's due to bloating. Why the bloating? Because their body is stressed because they're having to be in their gut or their environment is getting quite toxic and often that will affect the digestive system. The digestive system is very weak in our, um, in our senses. So moving in from there to school so the sensors were the kids that did sit up the front they were probably the ones that sat quietly at the front they wanted to understand the task they hate failing they like to know everything they need to know to be able to do the task most effectively get the job done and get out um what is my hair doing oh my god <laughs> uh coming into fun so senses are really fun like my sense of friends that i know are just an absolute ball of fun but it's generally done with um some they're held back still. They're not fully like balls in, like go for it. They often will make sure that whatever the fun they're doing is uh, balanced and safe and they're not going to hurt themselves. But they sure as heck like to have a lot of fun. But they will do more arts and crafty. These guys are the artsy people. They are such amazing creators. They are extraordinary. Just These are your, your musicians, your violinists, your... Um, what else? 
your artists, your the people that just love to sit there and create, the creatives. Um, they are just extraordinary at that. Then we look into, what else have I got? Money stories. It's not really an issue with our, our senses. Our senses are the type of, type of health type who are, like I said, analytical. So they've probably already got a budget done. They probably already know exactly what's coming in, what's going out, what their situation is, what their projection is. They're, they're on point with that usually. If they're not, I then start asking questions as to what's going on emotionally with them because they should be. Um, so their money story isn't really that much of an ordeal. They may be a little bit clamped down on their money. They might be a little bit reserved, um, but they're very smart spenders. Why spend stupidly? Because that's just going to put you into stress. That's going to threaten your, um, your lifestyle. It's going to threaten your safety and that doesn't feel good. So it wouldn't make sense to be silly with their money, right? Then, oh my God, can you guys see that behind me? Oh, that's coming in from Brisbane. It's the most beautiful cloud shelf of that storm coming through. Uh, then we're coming to food habits. So these guys have to have their food well cooked. They're actually really great at being able to eat uh, protein. They are fine with protein and actually, unfortunately, luckily for them, they're great with dairy too. Um, so they, they can have a bit more of a relaxed diet for some of them, depending on how their environment is nurturing them or if they're under stressed, I'm sorry, you guys are going to have a lot of different issues and it's very easy for that to happen. So these guys need to be aware of creating a safe haven as much as they can in all of their environments. Then we, um, their food has to be well cooked. They are great at having protein, but these are the guys that need to be having like stews and casseroles and slow cookers, like if you're, if you're a sensor and you haven't got a slow cooker, you need to go get one now, like now, like now. Um, and it's really essential to make sure those, those portions are very small. Like I said, they resemble the bird out of the animals as their animal token. This means they, need, they eat small meals more frequently. These are our grazers. They can have little seeds and nuts and picket little things, but if they're having, experiencing uh, bloat or, um, or exhaustion or feeling tired, then we need to have a conversation because that's when it means that something's really not sitting right in their environment or their mindset. Uh, last would be language. So like I said, these guys are the processors, the analytical uh, thinkers. So these are the guys that need to make sure that they have A to B sorted so they know they're safe, they're secure. And the language is thinking. Thinking and some of them a little bit of feel because some of them are close to the diplomat. These guys sit right beside the diplomat. So there's a bit of feel in them depending on which part of the circle they're sitting on but they will have a bit of feel, but mostly think and process. So a relaxing opportunity for these guys is not to, if you tell a sensor to stop thinking, they're going to go into like stress, absolute stress. You're not going to relax them. You're going to stress them out because they're like, I can't stop thinking about the thinking because I'm thinking about the thinking that's thinking about the thinking with the thinking. Huh? So these guys are the ones that you have to give them something like stretching and breathing activities for them to focus on so that then they can slow the thinking and they can process easier and they can relax. So I hope that's helped you guys with a little bit of an understanding about our senses. Um, if you're not already, if you haven't yet done it, the countdown is on. The 24th is when the next six-week self-evolution program is launching. So you have got to lift your game and make a decision because, to be honest, if not now, when? Uh, maybe you can go and try another program. Bounce back, rebound, yo-yo, whatever you like. Uh, but just know that this is the point where you get no more excuses. This is the point where life gets to be sequential. This is the point where you just get to get it right. And knowledge is king. Knowledge is power. Once you know, you know. And if any of you choose not to know or not to do, then that's on your own merit. You know you've chosen not to honour yourself. Uh, but the key is, is knowing and understanding that all of these diets and restrictive com restrictive packages at them uh, are designed to hoard you into some sort of a category that is a template. So why do that to yourself? Why not just get it right for yourself and understand all that you are, all that you require and, um, and so much more of what you can be. I think that's it. I'm going to go watch this storm roll across. Might take a few photos for you guys and send that through because it's just extraordinary and uh, get back to work. It's been a huge day. I think I've earned my company like 17 grand today. Woo! Uh, have a great day, guys, and I look forward to more conversations. If this has spiked some curiosity, get off your chair and ask the question, and let's have a conversation. Bye, guys.